guys, so I'm doing a voiceover because there was loud music playing and I don't want to get a copyright strike. So I wanted to show you guys, I think this entire shop along is in one booth. Um, I spent a long time in this booth. Uh, they have beautiful glass and I just, I had to film it for you guys. I do want to say if you see anything you're interested in, I can go back. This is my my new kind of favorite place to shop. It's East Fork Antique Mall. Flea Market. I don't really know if it has a name. I guess it's Antique Mall. Um, but, okay guys, look at that. I debated getting that for a very long time. And I may have to go back and get it. Look at that. It's like a really pretty light cranberry color. Um, I love that. It is Murano. And it's beautiful. Um, one thing I love about this booth is it is color coordinated, um, so the glass just really stands out. Look at that base. Look at the lines around the edges of that base. Unbelievable. There were some items that I couldn't quite reach or I was afraid to. Um, so if you if you're wanting to see more of certain things, I'm sorry, I kind of did the best I could. I did not want to didn't want to break anything. This booth is too amazing for that. Look at that beautiful sculpture. Absolutely stunning. And as you can see, it's $600, which is not bad for what that is. Honestly, that is a really high quality piece of glass. These crackle uh, glass tumblers are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, as you can see there, they I think they were $64 for a set of eight. They're beautiful. Um, I don't know who makes them. They are blown. So they may just be, um, you know, an art glass. Okay, so this is a bunch of the swan vases, guys. Look at them. Look at how beautiful they are. Um, there are a lot of them here in this booth. Um, there's a little um, Talavera fish. These canisters are amazing. Don't remember the price. Um, of course, they were sold or are offered as a set. But they're in amazing shape. They're, oh, they're so pretty. They're much prettier in person. Oh, I just wish I had the money to buy all of this. Oh, I just love it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Am I getting to the price? Oh, $40. So that's not bad at all for all three of those. So again, if you see something you're interested in, let me know. Okay, here we go to the amber section, which is probably my favorite. Uh, these are so pretty. Um, these are candle holders. There um, is a set of two. I do believe these are Ellie Smith. Pretty sure. I know I eventually do find the tag. <laughs> it is somewhere on here. Oh, tiara glass. Okay. I was way off there. Um, there's this Viking compote here. I love that. I love that handkerchief design. Love that lidded dish. Beautiful. I as usual, forgot my black light. Um, of course, those Tierra uh, glass do glow, but I'm wondering if that amber Ellie Smith glows. It could. I'm going to have to check that out when I go back. Um, they have some metal objects here, but I was just there for the glass. At this point, I was just drooling. I'm surprised there wasn't a puddle of drool following me everywhere in this booth. Look at it. Look at that bittersweet. Oh my gosh. There is a bittersweet uh, swung base there as well. The blue one is stunning. Oh my gosh. I wish I could have bought all of these. And honestly, guys, the prices were good um, for what they are. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have to keep my eye out. They did have a little sale, but if they have a bigger sale, I'm going to buy several pieces. That is another beautiful Viking piece. I love it. That blue vase is stunning, too. Also Viking. Do you have a favorite glass company? I think Viking is probably mine. I just love it. I love the design. I love the texture of it. Um, that is beautiful as well. I want to say that's in... Oh, it's kind of white, yes. They do have some in Poli that I, I will show you when I get over there. <laughs> it's towards the back. Those mid-century glasses are beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful set of martini glasses with a pitcher. Um, the colors are very much like an olive in the pitcher. Look at that. It's so pretty. Um, that bowl is so beautiful. Just stunning. 
this bank was very interesting. Um, it's a phrenology um, diagram bank. I, I need to do some research on it because I I'm, I'm don't know much about it. Um, here we have some very beautiful home, home guard pieces. More amber. Oh gosh, look at these beautiful green. Faustoria. No, anchor hawking. Beautiful glasses. The red is stunning as well. I believe that's a complete set of the green. Um, there's a whole set of those as well. It's a beautiful blue dish. Look at it, guys. And look at this beautiful Fenton dish. This blue opalescent dish. Um, I debated getting that as well. Look at it. Look at the design. It's so pretty. Not sure why it says Faustoria. <laughs> I think a sticker came off and it got stuck to it. Um, this is beautiful. Unfortunately, this one does have a scratch, um, or a chip, I should say. So I didn't get it. I thought about getting it even with the, the scratch, but I don't know. You guys let me know. Is that something you would want with the scratch? There I am pointing it out. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful, beautiful vase. Another beautiful piece of Viking right there. Love it. I love these orange pieces here as well. Just look at it. I like the feet of that. It's just very, very unique. I do believe that's Viking as well. I love that. And look at that beauty, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I think I need to go back and um, with my black lights so I can show you guys what glows. That's just a really pretty dish. Uh, the lid is just stunning. You know, a lot of these would be perfect for Christmas, guys. So if you see something you want, let me know. Look at this. Another beautiful, beautiful piece of Viking. Absolutely love that. There is a somewhat bucket list item. I think I show it here in a minute. Um... It is a Hager piece, one that I don't have, obviously, or it wouldn't be a bucket list. Um, and it was for a pretty good price, so I don't know. Maybe for a Christmas present for myself, I might go back and get it if it's still there. I keep finding I'm going to keep thinking I'm going to find it like at a thrift store or something like that. And the chances of that are pretty slim, so I may end up buying it from this booth. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? I love the shape so so cool you know i'm looking and i didn't even notice these amazing baskets down there those are really cool i'll have to check that out next time i go as well they're super cool um this is a little like frosted glass section and i think there's a milk glass swung vase there yeah there is yeah it's a milk glass decanter oh my gosh look at it guys i don't even really remember okay look at those so pretty Again, I love how they um, decorate this booth. It's perfect. Um, look at those Murano ashtrays. Beautiful. There's some amethyst glass back there, I'm pretty sure. Yep, amethyst decanters you see there. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It looks like a spider's web in the middle. I'm not sure what this technique is called, but is that not one of the prettiest pieces of glass you've ever seen? I was afraid to even try to pick it up because it was heavy and I didn't want to ruin anything. Give me a break. That vase is beautiful as well. The Millefiori in there is so nice. There's just some more beautiful vases here. Oh my gosh, this is Fenton. This is an opalescent um, swung vase. So pretty. No, we're getting over to the Empoli. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that one. It's, it's massive. It's so pretty. I sit here and I admire these pieces. And even if I got them, I would have nowhere to put them. I think I need a, a separate house for display. How many of you feel that way? <laughs> Look at those amber. Oh my God, they're so pretty. There's also some nice artwork in this booth as well 
And like I said, I'll have to go back and spend more time. Um, that's a beautiful um, bedside table set with a, um, a cup and a little jug for your water. Look at that flower frog. I thought about getting that, guys. If any of you are interested, let me know. I don't think it glows, but I will check with my black light if you would like me to. Isn't that awesome? It's probably the coolest flower frog I have ever seen. This section, of course, would be perfect for Christmas. Oh, ignore me there. Is that not beautiful? I seriously, I could just sit in this booth for hours. Oh, I love that swan. It is so, so pretty. It was kind of hard for me to get it all in one shot. Um, it says it's Vaseline glass, so it should glow. So I, y'all, I've got to go back. That definitely glows as well. Um, that is depression glass. Maybe the Fenton flower frog glows too. I'm going to have to check it out. Beautiful, more amber. You have to let me know what your favorite uh, pieces are in this booth. Look at them. Look at those beautiful Vikings. They want to come live at my house. They're so pretty. I'm so glad that they look good on camera. Because you never know. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed shopping with me at one of my favorite places. East Fork Mall. Yes, I went there again. As you saw, I spent a lot of time in the glass booth. Um, there had been some recent rearranging um, at the mall, and somehow I thought that booth was gone. <laughs> um, I think maybe I hadn't been back to that corner of the antique mall in a while, so I was very excited when I saw it. What happened was I was in a booth um, opposite it, and I saw a swung vase, <laughs> like kind of in the background when I was filming, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're still here. Um, they have the most amazing selection of glass that I've seen anywhere in the DFW area. Um, it's just phenomenal. All that mid-century glass, all the swung vases, all the Ellie Smith, all the blue glass. Oh my gosh. I was in heaven just filming in there. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did too. Okay, so these are the items that I picked up on this trip and I got some good ones, guys. I'm so excited to show them to you. I'm going to start off back here with this picture. Um, this is Jeanette Glass, and this picture is in, um, it's Carnival Glass, and it is a Marigold Carnival Glass. You can see the iridescence in it, I'm sure. I have yet to identify this pattern. I've asked a couple people for, for help, and no one seems to know for sure. I've seen it listed, I think it was on Etsy, as being Jeanette Glass's Floor Gold pattern. But it is not that. Um, that is a completely different pattern with actual flowers. I do believe this is a plant of some sort. Um, but this is just beautiful. I love this. I, I don't know if it's a more rare pattern or if there's just no information um, currently online about it. This is one of the reasons why I feel like I need to get Worth Point, um, get a subscription to it. If you guys have Worth Point and you have an opinion on it, let me know. Um, because I'm thinking about taking that plunge. I recently, you know, I've been picking up more and more glass, and I do have some problems identifying some of it. Um, you know, like certain depression glass patterns, for instance. Yeah, I'm still learning a lot, so I'm wondering if that would help me. So, like I said, definitely let me know if you have Worth Point and what you think of it. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful picture. It has this um, amazing lip here that will help you when you pour, so you won't spill everything everywhere like I do. Um, it's just beautiful. I do believe this is about 12 inches tall. It's tall. And no, I think it's more than that. Hang on. I will tell you exactly how tall it is. <laughs> I was kind of close. It's about 10 and a half inches tall. So it is large. It is beautiful. It is heavy, uh, just so you know. But it's amazing. It's an amazing shape. I don't see any damage on it at all. It was very well taken care of. And this piece is just stunning. I love this. Okay, in front of it is this beautiful piece of art glass. This is a perfume bottle. And it has this beautiful uh, Millefiori uh, technique design in here. Um, it's so pretty. I fell in love with this when I saw it. 
Um, look at all the details up close. It's just a beautiful piece of glass. It does have um, its little stopper here. And I did not find any damage on this either. I thought it was really cool and I just had to get it. It's definitely Murano style. When I first picked it up, I thought it was Murano because I saw this sticker, but this is actually an American group. Um, SDSC Pod, I believe, group. Um, I have to pull out my loot for that, but it says American Design, and I love this, guys. I'm excited to do a little bit of a deep dive into um, this manufacturer or this group because I think this is stunning. It feels like Murano, you know, it's definitely a quality piece of glass, and I thought it was super cool. I've been picking up a lot of perfume bottles lately, um, but I think a lot of you like them. A lot of you seem to really like glass pieces, so I'm happy to be showing them to you. Okay, speaking of glass, next to it, I have this really pretty um, Ellie Smith Amberina Moon and Stars candle holder. Uh, this really lights up. Guys, look at the glow on this. It is so nice. Um, this is also in great shape. I did not see any damage on this whatsoever. Look at that glow, guys. It's so pretty. Um, I love Ellie Smith, and I'm, I feel very lucky that I've been able to pick up some pieces recently because it's such nice glass. I love this design. It's so elegant. Um, let me show you up close, just so you can see some more of this really pretty detail. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And one more time, we'll show the glow. I love it. I think this is great for this time of year, great for Thanksgiving, great for Christmas. You know, that red is just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so speaking of good for Christmas, I got this, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Um, maybe during a live sale I'll be able to show you, but this piece of milk glass does have the ring of fire effect. It's got the amber um, rim to it, where if it's, you know, in the light, it will glow kind of an amber color. So it's an older piece of glass, I do believe. Yeah, it's pressed glass. I'm sure you can probably see that here. Now, I have not tried to identify this yet, Looking to see if there's a marking. Uh, my gut tells me this is Westmoreland. I could definitely be wrong there. Um, it's just a really cool piece of milk glass. I like this base. I think that's really elegant. Um, I'm pretty sure this is probably a compote. But it would look fantastic with your Christmas decor. Uh, you could put lights in it. Um, it's just really pretty. Love it. Of course you could put candy in it. I mean, there's always candy, right? Okay, um, I'm going to go to this other piece of glass right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful perfume holder, uh, perfume bottle. And it also is kind of like this goldish color, not quite as iridescent as the pitcher, but there is some iridescence to it. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. Um, it has this amazing uh, goldish atomizer. It is in good shape. There is a little bit of... Um, damage or discoloration here. Please focus. There we go. Uh, right there where it connects. Um, and I think that's probably just normal due to being a perfume bottle. Um, I decided not to try to clean it up. I don't want to damage it because I think it's beautiful the way it is. So I hope you guys will enjoy this one. I absolutely love it. It is so, so beautiful. Okay, then next to that I got... This Virgin Mary Madonna, whatever you want to call her, wall pocket. She is Lefton, and it does still have the sticker here. It's from 1956. This is so, so pretty. I love her. I love the, the detail in her face. I think she's just absolutely stunning. Um, this is also in great shape. I did not see that. Hopefully that'll clean up. It looks like it's just sort of stickiness maybe. So that should come up pretty well with uh, Mr. Clean. Here it is uh, from the top. It's just really nice. I don't think this was ever used as a planter because it's very clean in there. There is some dust, but it's still in really, really good shape. I absolutely love her. 
Isn't she pretty, guys? So pretty. Ugh, I just love her. Okay, so I got this as well. And this is just a very lovely um, print or picture in this very old frame. Um, God wove a web of loveliness of clouds and stars and birds, but made not anything at all so beautiful as mother's words. They are fair as bloom or air. They shine like every star. And I am rich who learn from her how beautiful they are. So, of course, this would be amazing for Mother's Day or maybe even a Christmas present for your mother, birthday present. I just thought it was beautiful, so I had to pick this up. Aren't the colors lovely? Oh, my gosh, I love this. Beautiful. Okay, then I, of course, got a brooch because I always pick up a brooch if I can find a nice one. And this is a beautiful um, metal and enamel brooch. It's this beautiful pink rose beautiful detail here. Here is the back. I don't think it has a maker's mark. Nope. Um, I just got it because it's so pretty and everyone is very into um, metal flower brooches so I had to pick this up. Stunning. Be, be a good Mother's Day present with this picture as well. Then I got these Mother of Pearl buckles. Um, I just thought they were amazing. I've picked up buckles lately. It's weird. It's not something I normally pick up, but I like the design. Um, I think these are really, really pretty. No damage on these. They are in excellent shape, and I do know some of you do collect buttons and things like this, so um, I went ahead and got them because I thought they were so nice. Then over here, of course, I got sheet music. I always get sheet music and, and brooches if I can. Um, this one is the Wreath of Roses. These are both antique. Um, as you can see, this is an excellent shape. It has this beautiful uh, picture of these roses, and they are actually more of a pinkish color, but they're coming through as orange. Um, just absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to open this up, open this up because of how old it is. But guys, this is so pretty. This is definitely something to be framed. Beautiful, and this one is from 1905. Now this one is actually missing um, the page that has the date, but I do believe this is also antique, probably around the same age. I have not tried to research it to find out for sure. Um, this is another waltz, and it has this beautiful um, scene of a, a river, leaves changing. I just thought this was really nice for this time of year as well. This is by Carrie Jacobs Bond. Isn't it pretty, guys? Another one that would be beautiful framed. Okay, and then the last thing I got is this. I got this two-tiered um, tray, and it is, it's vintage, and it is a Christmas tray. It's got these, um, this beautiful tree with gifts. It is in great shape. Of course, I had to get it because Christmas is coming up, and I know a lot of you use tier, tray, tier trays um, to decorate with, so I just thought this was really cool. And I got it for a you know, pretty good price. So I was really excited about this. Now stay tuned because Gina and I will be having multiple, yes, multiple Christmas sales starting very soon. Okay, guys, um, I want to thank you for all of your support. And I do want to let you know that Gina and I will be going live on Halloween Sunday, October 31st. And stay tuned for information about that. It will be coming very soon. If you can, please go ahead and like this video and leave a comment. Subscribe if you aren't already and you know, share. My channel, it, it's a little channel, but it's starting to grow. So I just want to thank everyone. And I do want to mention, I did reach my goal for 1,500 um, followers on Instagram. So I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, thanks to each of you that has taken the, the time to follow me or suggest my my channel and my Instagram to your friends. Um, it, it does mean a lot. I've only been doing this about six months, so I'm really excited about it. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love you guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.